Good morning, everyone, and good night to some. We are live with Miley on Bright Minded, Monday through Friday, 11.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. PST. Hi, Queen. Hi. Good morning, everyone. I want to wait for everyone to join before I do my morning announcements because today um, are very important announcements that I'm really excited to share. How's everything look, y'all? Is the Wi-Fi doing okay for you? I actually um, talked to my provider and hopefully the connection should be a little bit better and that the Wi-Fi should be better today. Um, but I talked with them and the problem is that so many people are home right now and using the internet um, that all the internet service providers are super overwhelmed. And in my area, there's actually outages. So they're going to fix all that um, throughout my entire community over the weekend. So we should be really good for next week's series. And I'm really excited for, oh, my Wi-Fi is good. Yay! I'm really excited for, um, I got my mom's booster. I'm really excited uh, for next week's series um, because I am actually going to work over the weekend. I've collected some materials and I am going to design a bright minded set. So over the weekend, I'm going to work on that. On Monday's episode, I am going to reveal the new bright minded set that I'm going to work on. Um, but like I said, good morning and good night to some. Before we start the show, I want to give a direct message to the young people that are still indulging in spring break. Listen, I am not one that would ever take pleasure in telling y'all not to party. I cannot wait until the day that this illness um, is not wreaking havoc on all of us and on our society and all of our plans. Oh, there's queen of fixing Wi-Fi. That's right. So listen, I am not one to ever take pleasure in telling you guys not to party. I cannot wait till the day that we are free from this illness and you guys can get back to turning up. Trust me, I miss my friends as well, um, but we've all heard about drinking responsibly. And right now, partying and drinking is not responsible. Um, at the beginning of hearing about coronavirus, we were all under the inf in, in, um, impression that this would only affect our grandparents or our parents or those with compromised immune systems. But we're learning now new information daily um, that this may not be the truth. Plenty of young people have experienced coronavirus and have been put in very dangerous health scenarios. So please isolate yourself. Please stop drinking, stop partying, stop staying up late, um, engaging with your friends. All of this lowers your immune system, putting you and everyone else at risk. So please be safe and distance yourself from society, please. And I will make sure I do another announcement when it is safe to turn up. But right now, no. Um, so yeah, like I said, I hope the Wi-Fi is better today because I have some really special guests and I also have another special announcement that I'm very excited about. So today my episode of Bright Minded is fashion focused and this is starting with a campaign collaboration with MEJ. So you guys can go to MEJ.com. Um, Bright Minded is supporting their Care Together campaign where 100% of the profits from MEJ will go to Feeding America until... Thursday night, that's tonight, 11.59 p.m. PST. Um, this will be over, so you guys have to go right now. Well, as soon as the show's over. Uh, go to the checkout of MEJ.com and use the code BRIGHTMINDED, and every dollar of profit will go towards Feeding America. One dollar is approximately 12 pounds of food. So imagine how much getting some cute-ass scrunchies could do today. That could do so much good. I have one in my hair right now. I have the Fendi design and this brand fe features all kinds of vintage scrunchies from designers like Dior and Fendi, Chanel and Pucci. And there are these cute faux fuzzy like little mink um, fur ones. There's fun prints. Um, there's silky scrunchies that protect your hair from breakage. If you're like me and you like to like snatch the hair real tight which usually would break your hair. So by using the silk, you don't damage your hair. Um, and they're all made in Los Angeles, which I love supporting um, local. So I want to show you this little like box that I have right now from MEJ. I know they're so cute. My friend Emma said she's going to buy them all. So I'll show you this cute ass little box she sent me this morning so I could show you guys. You buy hair mail. Um, and look how cute these are. 
Okay, so I have like all kinds of ones. Here's like this cute little polka dot one. Um, they all say MEJ, so you guys know MEJ.com, made in Los Angeles. Here's one of the little fuzzy little mink ones I was telling you about. Look how cute. Um, all their little packaging, keeping your hair out since 09, so cute. Um, so all of these little, like, I'm literally obsessed with these. I've been using them forever and they've really helped not break my hair because I sleep with my hair up. So if you go to MEJ.com and you, at the checkout, put in Bright Minded, you're going to help feed a lot of people that really need it. So that would be amazing. Cute ass scrunchies, feeding people. Best of us world. Um, okay, so I am so excited to also announce that today I am going to be doing a Q&A with fashion icon Rita Ora. Like I said, every day this show is getting just a little bit more pro. I've now got my mug and 8 by 10s So this is me and Rita Ora at the Clive Davis party before the Grammys. And today she's going to be showing us into her wardrobe. And she's going to give tips and tricks on how to be lonely. Uh, which is inspired from her new record that she just released. Um, and then I am finishing the episode with Recycle and Repurpose Design Project with Jeremy Scott, where we will make patchwork designs from all the scraps of our unwanted items. So I put like, just so you guys can grab yours and you can join. Today I'm wearing Moschino. Um, I grabbed like some old jeans that somehow ripped in the butt, in the crotch. So I grabbed all these t-shirts that I've like worn so much that I'm not really that into anymore. So I'm going to cut them up and use them as patches to like fix some of those little um, rips and tears. And the good news is, is you don't have to be really good. Look how cute this is. You don't have to. Oh, so cute. You don't have to be like good at sewing, um, grab glue, grab pins. If you can't sew, it's okay. Actually, the more exposed and like hanging threads actually make them more punk. I got this, uh, I got my hot glue gun. I grabbed like a jar of jewels that I had, uh, put these together. Um, it's going to be really, really cute. So we're going to do that project. And um, we're first going to start off with just a quick little like super quick one minute um, meditation because I think that's super important. Um, it may be kind of weird to do on live because we're basically just going to sit here and kind of silence and do some breathing. Um, and I can actually count us through the breathing. Okay. So basically it's super simple. You're just going to inhale for four and exhale for six. That's how we're going to start. So And for four, one, two, three, four, and out for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's do it again. And for four, one, two, three, four, and out for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I see that more people are joining this live, so I want to make sure you know what's happening. We're doing our morning meditation, which involves just breathing, getting ourselves centered into our bodies. So you're going to inhale for four, and you're going to exhale for six. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. One more time. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that feels really good and you guys can totally do that like all on your own anytime. Um, you even don't have to do it in the morning or for meditation, like any time you can do this, um, that you're feeling overwhelmed. Like sometimes before I go on stage, I start feeling super overwhelmed and scared and like my body gets the best of me. It starts like jittering and shaking uncontrollably. I get super cold hands and feet. And so I use that breathing exercise to get myself, um, back into my body. 
Um, so again, I'm like super, super excited about today's episode. Um, obviously fashion is a huge part of my life and in times like this, it feels like those kind of material things don't matter. Um, but connecting and doing projects together, that does bringing us together and taking all of our, um, old unwanted items and giving them purpose and giving them life and giving everyone else life in our unwanted items. We're going to slay in things that usually we would just like donate and get rid of. I always pass them around to my friends because I get like so many cool things given to me and gifted to me. And once I wear them and get a picture in them, um, I like to share them with others. But actually, this is a great way to share that also to like make a new item out of something that you're not really wanting to use anymore. So I have just a couple more minutes um, before I'm going to connect. Everyone's writing that I have great Wi-Fi and they're saying, finally, like, don't slay me. Don't slay me. Um, but with the Wi-Fi, imagine what Bright Minded could do, you know, with some good, some good um, Wi-Fi. We are going to just bring so much light to the world. Um, but it wasn't all my fault. It was because everyone right now is like binging and living and streaming because it's really um, kind of nice to get ourselves to be distracted um, from all the chaos, confusion, and the fear. Um, I hope everyone really listens to me during the announcement this morning about how crucial it is that spring break comes to a stop. I know it doesn't sound fun, but you will have plenty of more fun and parties and time with your friends if we can all keep each other safe and healthy in our best conditions and not putting the ones that we love, like our grandparents or our parents or our friends' parents, at risk. Um, another recap of the morning, talking about the scrunchies. I hope you guys can go to mbj.com and get your scrunchies so we can make buying cute ass shit for our hair go towards a good cause. So Feeding America is every time you give a dollar, it's approximately four to ten meals, depending on the area. So that'll be really awesome. Um, I'm really excited to talk to Rita, really excited for Jeremy. We've got two more minutes until I connect Rita Aura. So I'm going to hit her up now and make sure she's all good. Um, okay, I'm ready when you are. She might already be watching. Thank you guys. Um, I'm also really excited. I'm not sure if I should do this um, now or later. So if I had a big surprise for you guys, would you rather me tell you right now or at the end of the show? Okay, they want to know right now. So I have a very special guest coming on tomorrow. You guys are loving my makeup. So tomorrow I'm going to do a makeup tutorial with the gorgeous Haley Bieber. Um, so this is me and Haley. Um, I'm probably about 14 here. Um, so she's got to be like an actual baby. I think I had just uh, gotten done with the Macy's Day Parade, and um, we made our parents take us to go and get pancakes afterwards. Um, so this is us hanging out, her as a little girl. Look at this girl. So tomorrow, Haley Bieber is going to be on the show, and we're going to be doing some makeup, walking you guys through the tutorial. Um, so that is going to be really sweet. And P.S., how good are these 8x10s? You guys. Every day getting just a little bit more legit. And again, Jeremy Scott at the end of the show. And Rita Ora is on her way. She just texted me that she's coming. So she is on her way. It's going to be so exciting. And while we wait, I can show you these cute little scrunchies that you can actually sleep with these in your hair. And they'll protect your hair. So see, it comes in this little silky bag. Because the silky bag reflects what's inside the silky scrunchie. That's going to keep your hair nice and snatched without breakage. These were like my secret sauce when I used to wear um, like all these different ponytail clips. I would always do these like ponytail clip-ons. And when I would use the silky scrunchies underneath those clips because it would be so heavy on such a tiny amount of hair. These were like saving my hair. Especially because my hair is blonde. So that's going to be cute. Okay, Rita is here. Let me see. Okay, you guys can't request me a million times because then I can't see her. It says Rita. Waiting for Rita. 
Can I dance? Hey! Hey, Rohe. Oh, hey. Hold on. Hey, hold on. Hey, hey, oh, hey, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, just like trying to make the best really? of this. Bring some light. I've been watching it, girl. You've been doing it. I just texted you and I said, you should be a producer. You should produce TV shows. <laughs> I'm like loving it so much. I don't think anyone understands that like literally from the minute my eyes open. By the way, look at this. Oh, oh my God. Cold. Love, love that you have a whole cup, like an official TV host. I got a lot of time on my hands. <laughs> I know, me I too. I collected every jewel that I have in the house and put them in these like organized little bins. And so I'm going to do crafts with Jeremy today. You're, you are better than me because if you see where I'm at right now, I'm in my glam room. It's like, I know, I love that moment. Drop the 8 by 10 Are you even a talk show host without the 8 by 10 I at first did these little kind of like, janky little like four by six and i got i remember that show that show was so amazing i remember that that was was another kind of project like this this was a time where like i was very intimidating so today is our fashion focus episode and when i did this jeremy show it was because i was so intimidated by fashion because it always felt so serious and it felt like there was just no life or spunk or personality and no individuality in fashion yeah. so i wanted to do something that would make it feel individualized and i think that's what you are so good at is somehow i was writing down on my notes about your style that like you can make a white tank top and some like sickening nails seem way more chic and more powerful than someone that could show up like super overdressed in a gown like i think one of the cooler things that you do is sometimes you like kind of underplay a bigger event and then kind of the smaller events you'll just like stand out and wear like some crazy sickening makeup don't tell everyone my secrets that's the that's my secret too that's the secrets you just literally told everyone the secret no i'm kidding (laughs) then you then you always stand out Thanks, babes. Well, I always like to, I feel like we're the same, like we're kind of tomboyish at the same time. So like, I feel like the thing about what I love to do is make a memory, like create a moment. So like, I always try and like wear vintage things, or, like mix things up that I feel like really represent like where I'm at in my life at the moment. And with everything going on right now, I've actually had a lot of time in my hands to like do a lot of like spring cleaning. So this yeah. has come up at perfect time because now you can help me like decide what I should keep or not. I've got some stuff that I was like, yo, I have to show them for memory's sake. They're saying my Wi-Fi is bad again. Hold on. <laughs> oh no. I, I was just it. saying, it's actually not my fault. It's that so many people are streaming and living and all this in my area that they're fixing it over the weekend. My provider <laughs> is on it. Don't slay me, Miley. You're live and You guys have to get over it. MC, fix your fucking Wi-Fi. Oh, just, it's like <laughs> not my fault. Everyone and their mother is like freaking streaming Love is Blind and all this shit. They said they're oh not slaying my you. God. No, I know it's your Wi-Fi is bad when people lie to stream. Okay. The more no, people that live stream and that tune in, but I want everyone to tune in and you're clear, so it's fine. But actually, it's, it's really uh, kind of cool that, that you said that, that, you know, you always try to, like, reflect how you feel, because that's what I wrote about you, too, is I think that whatever music you're putting out, it's so perfectly aligned with how you're presenting yourself at that time. Yeah, Is that, true. like, you Thanks, guiding man. that? Is that, like, do you have a team? Or I'm sure that's just you. Yeah, no, I mean, you know how it is. It's like when you have a, like, idea and a vision, it's like you try and explain it to people, they usually don't get it the first time you try and explain it. And then you're like, fucking hell, am I going crazy? But then you're like, actually, you see the vision come to life because for us and for me, it's always been about, like, the music first. And then you're like, okay, how do I make myself, like, into this whole persona? I mean, you know, you did it yeah. with all, your, all, all of your albums and stuff. So I have so much knowledge like for me i think what i love to do the most is like reach like about things that i never really knew about like i'm in my glam room right now which is a mess but here's like <laughs> the clothes those are the shoes oh my god and then we like loads of clothes here what is and then that I yellow have my wig oh my god we have the same oh my god we have the same like little makeup mirror yay yeah look and then i'm I in my glam room mates. oh my god what the hell yeah, this is like what I do. I just dress up and everyone thinks I'm insane, but I don't give a shit. I this remember when girl. I was trying to throw my hair out, you were going to let me borrow a couple couple wigs. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> I was like, do you okay. remember when you were growing it out? I said, if you need any wigs, just holler at me. So what's the tea? How are you getting that to be like so cute? Do you have someone go in and like make it match? I have to like, style it. looks so good. 
But what happens is they have to style it. And then this isn't actually real. It's just synthetic hair. So, like, it doesn't really move. It looks so real. Yeah, I don't use real hair unless I, like, have to. You know what I'm saying? If I'm doing, yeah. like, a non-natural look, if it's just for a video, I try not to use as much, like, real things as possible. But, you know, girl, like, you have to slay the weave once you get a good oh, one. Oh, you know and what I'm by saying? the way, like, I am not the one to ask, like, my godmother is Dolly Parton. And I'm all, that shit looks so real. <laughs> it can go right out of your head. It's like... My idea of what looks real is not correct. <laughs> this is the French thing you were asking about. This was actually made by Mrs. Mrs. Prada herself. She's like one of my favorite designers of all time. So she designed this for me. I'm obsessed And then this with was it. another thing that I wanted to show that I love, which is like the feathered in the back and the white Prada kind of cut out <laughs> suit. This was, made, this was made for the Met Gala and I like never got to really wear it. Okay, so this is what I'm wondering. Like, where are all the clothes? I know you were supposed to be promoting your new song, and now I'm sure things aren't yeah, happening the way but like, you thought. I feel like the world is in a, such a different place at this point that I just want us to just basically feel good and positive. Since putting out this song, I genuinely have never been like this, but I actually don't care right now about anything like that. You know what I'm saying? I Me really either. just want us to become like one unit and come together. And as long as, if the song helps you, fantastic. But like, I think right now more than ever like i haven't wanted to like even do any radio shows or anything like that i just feel like it's just so weird right now to do that you know my mom is writing omg about the feathered blazer look she's freaking out is she obsessed Shut so it was, on. It for, was it for met gala this year that's being postponed or canceled or was it for last no year it was last year for? i'm literally obsessed with it i'm obsessed with your mom tell her i, oh, I love her like, and miss her so much Oh this my god. This is good. This is like my favorite thing I've ever seen. It's so good. And it's so Prada too, because it's like the right cut, you know? So you don't feel like you're trying to be like a, like with your tits out or anything. It's just so chic and simple so and like polite. You, um, so did you ever, my mom's writing obsessed. So did you ever <laughs> get to wear that anywhere? You've never got to wear it? No, never. Because oh what happened god. was after the Met, everybody went out, as you know. And then, like, I just didn't change because I got, like, too kind of, like, we had too much fun. So I just never, I ended up staying in the same dress. Agreed, agreed. I ended up, like, I think actually um, going home, <laughs> going to sleep. No, and, like, I think you did. You did. The Indian food in New York is just tip top and it's my favorite. And so I got in bed and, like, ate Del Parque. <laughs> Um, oh my god so, there's so many people writing so oh your t-shirt people love the t-shirt look this is the t-shirt i sent you earlier oh, so you this that? is so this is the the announcement i wanted to tell you like really quickly because i feel like okay, this is the best place to do it tea. basically i have not been able to sleep for literally like a week since all of this has been going on like my mom is like not that well but she's okay but like it's not it's just scary times for everyone. Basically, what I wanted to do was get on the phone to somebody that I felt like mobilizes society in a way which is like beyond. So Sir Bob Geldof, who has done incredible work for charity over the years and has actually made so much history, I can't even tell you. I'm doing yeah. it like in quick form so nobody thinks I'm like preaching because this is really no, important. No, but preach as much. That's what this is for. So just like do your thing. And also like I wanted, to, I, I spoke to the president and the CEO of United Nations and I also spoke to the global health organization, right? And I said, listen, we have to do something. I don't know what I need to do, but like, I need to do something. It's insane, okay? So I took the symbol of the peace sign, the CND peace sign, the classic 60s peace sign, and I wanted to put the virus on it because this is about playing your part and spreading the knowledge. So what I feel like I've noticed is some people still don't know like what they need to do. So this right. is something as simple as, even if you can't donate or your job is at risk at the moment, which I know is super crazy. And everybody's like, how are we going to make money? The economy's like gone to shit. It's almost like, even just by spreading this sign, it shows that knowledge that you can actually just divert all the information to this one website, which I'm going to put like at, on my link. It's also on my website. Yep. And where you can literally them. just go and like learn about it. And by posting this, it's almost just like you're doing enough already. Even if you can't know give any money back or even if you haven't got the funds at the moment it's like beyond our control it's not even about musicians it's not even about like trying to do anything it's literally about spreading the knowledge yeah literally and i think right now like you know at first if we felt it was enough just to wash your hands for 20 seconds but that's the bare minimum of what you should be doing in your own time i i love that 
Iman wrote on her Twitter the other day and said, we thought we'd have flying cars in 2020 and here we are teaching people how to wash their hands. It's insane. It's, it's so like, insane. Like, what were y'all doing before? It's so insane. And this is coming from us who kind of like travel the world, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And like for me, yeah. I've always been a bit of a hypochondriac anyway, but now more than ever, I feel like I don't know what else to do. I've never really been in a position where it's like, what the fuck do I do? You know? Sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, and how do we, um, and how, So sorry, this is what like, my little like contribution is. Oh. Yeah, and how do we know exactly, there's so much information coming out daily that you want to stay informed, but you don't want to sit in front of your TV screen or watching the news for every single update because there is no filtration system no, of the at news. All. This is so, what I'm saying. Which yeah. We know how that works. Like there's no filtration system in journalism at all. But when it comes to health, it can cause panic in a pandemic, which is lowering yeah. your immune system, yes. the stress. Yes, um, already. And the worry. Yeah. And it's just, it's really uh, irresponsible for the media to not fact check everything that yes. they release because yeah. you can really cause people to have anxiety attacks. Actually, my grandma was really sick the other day. Yeah. Her breathing had, she was having problems breathing. Turned out it had nothing to do with coronavirus. It, it was, was just anxiety panicking. Attack. Yeah, yeah, because it's she insane. Was how much it's attacking, like, her age group. And so she actually had a full on meltdown anxiety attack. And so we just can't put all this fear. We need to be actually putting out I know. information. Hence why I there. wanted to create literally a symbol of unity. Like this is about solidarity, unity, coming together, having all of the yeah. messages kind of really clear and direct, especially here where I'm at right now in London. Like it's crazy where I'm at right now. And that's what I wanted to know. I actually wrote that down as one of my questions also, because I'm yeah. sitting in LA and I'm so far from there. And you know, just Europe is being hit so yeah. hard, you know, looking at Italy and, and, and some of my yeah. fans in Spain. What is it like in the UK yeah. right now? How do you think it's different? It's it's, it's deserted. Everybody's still kind of waiting to see if this lockdown's really actually going to happen, like in the rest of Europe. UK is obviously the last to kind of make a decision. So we're all really just waiting, sitting on the edge, like not knowing what to do. The messaging is not as direct as I'd like it to be. Hence why I wanted to do something that was super clear and visual. So you can yep. symbolize like the actual message and go to the website where you'll be able to one, donate, or two, just basically take the symbol itself and just spread it out so people are aware that this isn't something that we're trying to kill this is something that we're trying to beat this is what i'm saying right. you have to play your part that's the point right so and in I the uk love, it's scary you know speaking of like fashion you made it something that is a t-shirt that people will actually want to wear like look how cool it is and it's just all it's very like obvious and telling and it's you don't want like some shirt that just like you said is preachy you know, no, and with a no. number or an organization because it doesn't make you want to wear it out on, you know, and, and your friends see a picture yeah. and you're posting it. And, and even with the it. masks. And like, yes. even oh with the God. masks, since we're talking about fashion, it's like, write something on it. Make it punk rock. Like, it's I not embarrassing to wear mask. it. I'll send you a photo. I made a little Chanel mask because I was supposed to go to Australia and fly and my show wasn't canceled. Oh, and yeah, I, I know. Oh, Chanel God. on it. But like, even if people at home, you can just find these like little beads that you have, or maybe do safety pins. Um, even if you have like some white out, you know, you can write yeah. like. And for the people that know, don't have masks, that like use a scarf, like use a top. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some people I know, especially over here, like we have run out you can't of get masks the mask. like, in all the supermarkets. We can't even get them. So it's almost right. like, what else can you do? You know what I mean? So it's like bandana, or use a scarf, or do something. I love like, the idea of the scarf. Yeah, it has to happen. I feel like, idea. yeah. And, and then, then people least, can also just, like, um, make sure, like, you know, you have bleach, all those things, like, wash all your stuff that you're using if you're using reusables separately and keep them super clean. And, like, if you wear them out that day, I actually wore gloves the other day and I flipped them inside out as soon as I got home. So yeah. I didn't take what I got on the outside of the gloves inside of my house. So oh, as yeah. Soon as I got okay, to the great. Door, I, like, flipped the gloves the other way and then put them directly in with bleach. And then I was able to reuse them so we're not throwing out these plastic like gloves all the time because i'm so worried about what the repercussion will be oh, of yeah, all of these course, plastic of course, gloves with and global all these chemicals and not everyone has access to actually um you know like seventh generation is what we have here that's an organic version but actually works because you don't want to go too natural because then it doesn't kill the virus but if you use too many chemicals at this time, I'm so worried about everyone using so much hand sanitizer so much antibacterial because it's actually really scary getting that into your immune system
it's not yeah you know what and some people don't even know that that's the problem it's like people don't actually even know these things so it's like we just have to keep educating and just try and do as much as we can this is just we're, not what we're doing yeah, we're, you know what i mean like thinking about it like it's you know right now it's just like i, I was actually talking to my doctor he was on the show three days ago and he was saying definitely keep yeah. up with washing your hands stay super clean but don't be obsessive because you actually your body needs to also be able to fight this as well you know yeah yeah, that's why I put this peace sign on there, so we can have the actual balance of both, you know. And the team that put this together, and the United Nations and the Global World Organization, it's literally like health. It's insane, the global health. Like, the, the things that they are doing is so beyond. I'm really honored that I'm even a part of the, this whole thing, to be honest. Because when I called them, I was like, what do you need me to do? So, you know, let's. I, I just want to say, like, you can go and just go on my Instagram and, like, swipe up and help spread the love or go on Miley's story and she'll post it so you guys can see it. I will and, definitely be posting it. And I uh, miss you. I miss you, too. And before we um, sign off, I now we were able to get into this earlier. I want to make sure you give me all the links. Text them to me, and I'll put them up on my stories because a lot of my fans are actually in the U.K. also. So I want to make yes, sure I, I know. Have that. Yes, we love you over here. Um, and then before we in this conversation, I want to know one way that you uh, what do you do when you feel lonely? You know, we were talking about um, yeah. really talking about how to be lonely. Being lonely is actually yeah. causing some of that panic and fear also. And it's so great how your song is like so right, like right now. That's what's making it gives it a whole nother meaning, which actually makes me love it. Thank even more. you. Oh, I love you for saying that. Look, I honestly couldn't believe the thing that's going on and that my song actually being called How To Be Lonely because the song is genuinely about being okay with actually being alone and not having a boyfriend or not having a companion or like yeah. actually just not being in a relationship for a second or whatever it is. It's like finding ways around how you can be happy and still be by yourself, you know? Yeah. So like for me my my life is like it's kind of lonely like touring isn't like crazy it's like kind of lonely. i was thinking that around, you know what i'm saying and it's almost like how many times could you speak to somebody or like stay on facetime so what i wanted to say was like anything having a bath almost just kind of like making yourself something nice to like eat painting learning a new skill something that you don't feel like you're thinking about oh my gosh like why am i so alone it's like you're not, because somebody else out there is also going through the same thing. So my song, How To Be Lonely, is genuinely just about being okay with admitting, like, yeah, I'm good for now, you know? Like, I'm I good for myself I love so right much. Because we were just talking about that, learning a new skill, giving yourself confidence, some reason why you would rather be with yourself than anyone else. Yeah, um, and I saw that Demi Lovato, friend. like, said something about it once and she was like yeah you know what i had a bath and i did this and i thought wow i literally got goosebumps because it's strange people don't ever talk about it you know being on yeah. their own it's like who's dating who like people just care so much about who the hell anyone's dating and at this point it's like no one cares like no one cares yeah agreeing <laughs> i am so but happy i was anyway to you. i'm Send me everything, and I'm going to repost, and I'm jumping on for craft time with Jeremy. Thank you so much, the followers and fans. Oh, tell Jeremy I love him, and Let's do I it love again you too when I get so my much. Wi-Fi on fleet. Fix it. Bye. I love you. Love you. Bye. Okay. Guys, I'm working on my Wi-Fi to get better with Jeremy. Jeremy, give me one second. I'm working on this. Like I said, it is nothing to do with me. It is to do with everyone right now all at one time um, bombarding their providers with streaming. And a lot of people are doing lives, um, but there's a lot of streaming and the providers are totally overwhelmed and there are outages in my area and they're being fixed over the weekend. So by next week with my new set and my new Wi-Fi, right, mine is going to be kicking ass. So I'm just checking in. I know it's blurry. I'm working on it. Let me move some things around. Let me know when things are looking better. Um, let me just work on this just for five seconds. You guys, I did get the booster. It's not about the booster. It's about the overwhelming amount of streaming and the providers are, no one usually is at home, just sitting at home being able to stream and watch TV all day long. And a lot of people are doing that right now. So everyone is overwhelmed. Okay, so apparently it's a little bit better. Um, okay, as long as you guys are happy. Okay, apparently it's clear. So apparently it's clear. 
I am, I can't get any closer to the Wi-Fi because it's not my Wi-Fi. Okay, it's getting better. Yes, it's good. We love you so much. Okay, now I'm getting a hold of Jeremy. And we are going to do, we are going to do our segment of crafting. Oops, I just flipped it around. How do I undo that? Okay. Now Jeremy should be here waiting for me. Let me check in. There he is. Okay, we're waiting for Jeremy Scott. We're connecting him now for our recycling and repurposing with Jeremy Scott. Hi. I'm still got slightly shady Wi-Fi. <laughs> I was telling everyone that basically the provider is saying that everyone is very overwhelmed and that there's outages in the area because everyone is at home streaming Love is Blind and Love Island and Vanderpump Rules. And so everyone is streaming so much right now that it's affecting and they're working on it on the weekend. But hopefully you can see me. Leave Miley's Wi-Fi alone. Can we make, can we make t-shirts, please? <laughs> oh, my God. Speaking of, so look how cute these are. Jeremy gave these to me for Christmas. Aww. So I wanted to put them in. Look how cute they are. These are little things that I was just telling everyone they could kind of make at home. <laughs> Buying these little trinkets. Putting these little earrings. <laughs> so I got my little earring in today. My, ear, my ears are really small, but I want to show everyone what you gave me. <laughs> Look how cute they are, everyone. Aww. I got on my little hoodie. You cute, um, you little Moschino hoodie on. Here, you know, we're repping Moschino, so cute. Aww. I got my mug now, so I'm like extra pro. <laughs> I've now stepped it up even to a whole nother level, and I have full-on 8 by 10 I love that moment. <laughs> I am printing all these cute photos of us, and I'm I'm making my little room super cute where I'm putting all of my guests, like, all around my room. So sweet. And we're going to out over this. This is Haley Bieber when she's a little so girl. Cute. That so face cute. is adorable. I love So these Haley. are all my guests. <laughs> um, and so I was showing everyone that I kind of went around and collected some of the kind of miscellaneous little jewels yeah. that I've had. Like, fall, even if you can't get to a crafting store right now, um, I just put, like, all these junky jewels in this little jar. Um, yeah. I might have more jewels uh, falling off clothes than some because pretty much everything and I've dazzled everything already. Um, I had these little studs and so I put some studs in a little canister. Um, so basically people can just go around their house, right, and kind of collect things they already have. Absolutely. I was thinking about this because I was cleaning out my closet and I have lots of t-shirts. I love vintage t-shirts. And I was thinking about some that have maybe you know, become holy or too small or whatever. And thinking that we take, take them. So we have a pile here. Choo, 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 choo. I've got my pile as well. And then cut them up to make patches. So I took thought... everything in my closet. That's not Jeremy Scott. Put it on the table. <laughs> and cut the shit out of it. <laughs> as you should. Um, <laughs> everything on the yeah, table cause... is what I own. That's not most, you know, or Jeremy Scott. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I mean, I think, you know, I was thinking if you take something like, you know, I have a pair of like old Adidas, uh, you know, sweatpants, and yep. just taking those as a base, something very yep, simple, got everyone's got a pair of sweatpants, a pair of jeans, exactly something like that. And then we could talk about cutting up something and making it work. So let's, let's, let's start because one thing I want to say is for sure to remind people is like, your body may be in quarantine but your mind doesn't have to be. So we can expand our minds at this time and continue, <laughs> continue to, to learn, to experiment, to be creative, to be kind. One other thing before we just start crafting away, I wanna just suggest to people to reach out to people, not only your friends or family, but maybe there's someone at school that you don't know so well that you could use this moment to say hi to, even putting a little heart emoji on someone's page might change their day because this isolation is really tough on other people and some people don't have the support groups and family that others do so thinking about maybe a neighbor or, or even someone that's um that you at your favorite restaurant maybe there's a, a waiter or a waitress and um you know if there's somebody that you can reach out to even just the subtlest thing a little heart emoji might change someone's day and bring some positivity and that's one thing that 
why I'm so excited and so I love you so much because you bring so much positivity all the time, Miley, and this is a great venue for that. So we can all do that in in small scale with all the technology we have. So one yep, I love it. One to say that. So I'm going to pull this uh, old vintage Donald Duck t-shirt that Pablo probably gave me and repurpose it today. Because yep. um, repurposing also is a really important thing just in the fact that like, you know, we got a lot of stuff on this earth. So what I would do is like, I'm kind of looking at it already before I cut it. I'm going to fold it a little and think, okay, how would I want him to sit? Because then I can kind of eyeball because you this doesn't have to be perfect this is fun so right if you have no skills of sewing who cares this is not about that this is about having fun doing something crafty uh repurposing and and making something custom because everyone's an individual so why not let your freak flag fly and be an individual so yes. i'm kind of looking at this like maybe i might cut him down like that so i have a little frame okay. so i'm gonna do is I'm gonna then I'm take him. Well. Love stuff. Good, and um, just gonna just not be fearful. Just start cutting. Don't worry. Just get in there. Don't cut your fingers, but cut the t-shirt. You know, another thing people can do at this time is also there's so much technology for us to watch documentaries and tutorials and to learn things. There's so much out there in the world. So I encourage people to use this time constructively. Yep. You can get on YouTube, you can go on Netflix, you can watch my documentary on Netflix. Actually, Yahweh. so many things. <laughs> okay, so I've kind of figured out the shape I think looks good for me. Maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna just chop a little bit more off here. And I'm doing the same. Mine's getting a little more rippy DIY, which good. is cool with me. Good. And then one thing, so I have a little little needle needle and thread. And yeah. I'm, one trick I have is like just putting like a little book inside so that way it makes it easier for while you're sewing you know that way you're not sewing through two layers because you don't want to sew through the pocket because then later you're going to be frustrated so yep. you can put a little like stiff thing behind there and then just start sewing and honestly it's like you don't need to worry about the um this being perfect like we want it to be DIY, punk and kind of um rebellious so i'm doing very big stitches camera back a little so everyone can see my So look, I'm just making big basting stitches, super easy. This is like a kit you could you could use a needle and thread even like from like a hotel kit, something that's just yeah. hanging around. Now, and if you don't have any, you know, needle and thread at the house, you know, another idea is taking safety pins, you know, that's you take a bunch of safety reason. pins and you could just safety pin it like that. So, you know, there's other, there's other, other avenues to do this, but it just makes something, take something maybe that's, you know, already worn and maybe kind of feeling a little bit, um, you know, out of, out of, out of date or out of touch or something that you don't love, or even, even doing this for a pair of a pants that you're just, you know, wearing to go to sleep in, you know? Um, yeah. I think that that's, you know, equally valid. I think that one thing also about quarantine life that I've noticed is just trying to keep a semblance of um, normalcy, of course. And so yeah. doing things like still getting dressed um, up cute or even, you know, spraying perfume, even though maybe no one's smelling you. But you know what? 
<laughs> you smell good. You feel happy. I'm taking my know? setup to my kitchen because I think I have better Wi-Fi. Hold on, guys. We're okay. moving rooms, people. We're moving rooms. We're a show on the go. So we are a I show keep just on here. the go. <laughs> and the Wi-Fi is better in the kitchen. I, oh, hallelujah. I, and look, I want to say a special shout out to Tish for that booster. We love you, Mama yeah, Tish. That's not Mary, Mary Tish Miss, we love you. Mary Tish Miss, let's see if this is better. I, I think it should be a little bit better. Okay. Okay, so I'm just still basting this. It's super easy, big stitches. Again, this is not something that you need to worry about being perfect or worry about anything that is, um, uh, you know, trying to make it not noticeable. It should be, I think it's more fun that it's big and bold and kind of punk and, you know, has attitude. Attitude, as Carlene Sassadouza said, attitude, attitude. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my my jeans that have, like, all these holes in them. It's still blurry, but I think there's nothing we can do. Damn. Okay. <laughs> I'm taking these little jeans that have holes in them, and I'm actually going to put the fabric under the holes because I needed to patch, like, the little butt. Yeah. Because my dog, Emu, loves to eat the butt out of my pants. <laughs> um, so I'm taking these. This little heart that I just cut out, and I'm going to put this under the kind of, like, little knee of my jeans. Sounds smart. And that's a good point that you just brought up, too, about your doggy. Because it's thinking about crafts, and one of the things that I know that you have learned personally from crafts, especially because when we did the show together and you made the crafts, how it helped you overcome some of your sadness from when Floyd passed. And I feel like yep. people should not underestimate how – Doing something, even even if it seems kind of silly, like patching this or taking old beads or jewels and putting them together, how therapeutic it can be. And that's a really important need right now um, with the stress that we're all under. I mean, you know, some obviously more than others, but I think everyone's feeling the stress of the way the, the world's, you know, been turned upside down right now. So. Yeah. Anything we can do that's like self self love in that respect and try to be kind to ourselves and one another at the same time. And I, because I'm not as great at sewing either, I did my own um kind of beginning. I like went and just grabbed some double sided tape that I had and I put it on the back of here. So a lot of people actually probably have a home even just like little scotch kind of tape that could be really yeah. cool. If they don't have anything that they can actually put this down permanently with it feels good you could use the same pair of pants and like see how many like out of one pair of sweatpants could you make 20 different designs because if they take some photos of those that's kind of what you would do when you're sketching clothes at the very yeah. beginning stages of a show you would put things on not for permanent wear but just to kind of see what you could make and if it, you can make the things better every day so maybe if you have one pair of pants and you don't want to put things down permanently um, you could go through, layer on all the different ways that you could do it and take some photos, um, and then I'm going to repost them also. So I had this cute little, like, happy Aww. hippie hat. So I was going to put that right on the little, like, butt of my jeans. Cute. Go like this. So you're repurposing okay. with a message. Yes. <laughs> um, my little, like, the knee of my little jean. I'm going to move my phone so it doesn't matter because the Wi-Fi is horrible anyway. If you can see, I did this to like the new. Yes, movie. I love the inside patch peeking through the through yeah, the, with the, little the rip heart and tear. And a little lightning ball. That's really good. Yeah, I think that the more you can make it your own and make it custom, the better it is. Yep, and then I am grabbing all of my little jewels that I have, and I also had this little patch at home. Um that I had made a while ago that says Miley, and yeah. it was on a jean jacket, so I grabbed that. <laughs> and I also have this really cute, speaking of Floyd, I have this really cute little, like, Floyd keychain. Oh, I love that. So I'm going to put Floyd on, like, the little belt loop of my pants. So cute. You One know I love all those kind of... For me. 
doodads. I'm actually I'm gonna clip it through one of the little holes actually, so that looks really cute. Um, and then I have this cute LGBTQ um, safety pin. Love. So I'm gonna use this little pin. And I'm gonna put that also. Yes. So I think the great thing about clothes is like when someone just looks at you, they know what you're about. Yeah, I think when people dress, you're telling you who you are, your tribe, the people that you yep. love, the music that you love, the things that you love, the the places you go, the magazines you read, the websites you go to, um, the political views you have, the restaurants you like. I mean, there's so much that you can tell from clothes, yep. honestly, and it's how we communicate. Even when we think we're trying to not communicate with clothes, we still are. So even being yep. anti-fashion is a fashion. It all really is a communication. And that's what I love about fashion and clothes, because to me, my ultimate goal is to cut, communicate with people, to touch people's lives, to bring joy to people with my with my shows or something that, that, that they wear or buy, just because if it can put a smile on someone's face, I feel like that's the best gift I can give someone. If I can put a smile on someone's face, my job is, is complete. So yep. I'm totally down with fashion communication. And you do that so, like, you do that Thank better, you. I feel like, than any designer. It's just, like, it's your spe – you kind of invented it, honey. Aw. You invented you. it. <laughs> so with this, got the first little – um. I'm obsessed. First little there. Ah, that is so and now good. I pre-prepared already a little a Mickey on the other one, so we could already see like I'll what shoe what looks I'm like quickly. Starting. I'll show you what I've kind of got going on. I've got right now. I'm kind of doing more of these like little pins and jewels. Cute. I and I actually took these little charms that were from an old bracelet and I hung them from the rips. Nice. And and you can do that with like any sort of little beaded jewelry you have or like a broken uh, necklace. If a, a necklace, sometimes those little things break, like the chain will break, but you have the clasp. Anything with the clasp, just like put right there. And then I'm almost done sewing down this, but I've got like my little patch in the in the knee with the heart. And I'm also using that. a um, I'm using a Planned Parenthood pin. Yes, supporting and all the I causes. And I a little happy hippie butt. <laughs> I love that. I'm working on mine. Yeah, because also, you know, the thing that we have to remember to fight not only is the virus, but it's empathy and not being, um, you know, having a heart. And, this, and I removed this these from my element. Jeremy Scott jacket. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and I steam ripped these off my Jeremy Scott jacket. I love that. Well, it's you are just the best for being, You're the best for being on the show, and your clothes always lift everybody up and just make everyone thank feel you. so special when they're wearing them. Um, and I just love them so much and just want to thank you for everything and for joining us on the show. And let's do this again when I have some bomb-ass Wi-Fi. Absolutely. We can do some more more advanced projects and keep – Keep sharing the light, and thank you for shining the light for so many people. That's so important, Miley, and that's why not only I, but so many people love and admire you so, so much. Thank you so I much, Jeremy. We love you. Thank you. Bye, You're a sweetheart. legend. Bye. Okay, guys, so I am going to work on this situation, make sure it stays clear for you guys. Um, obviously, like I said, there's not really much I can do because this is a provider issue, but I'm working on it for tomorrow's episode with Haley Bieber where we'll do makeup tutorials. So I look forward to seeing you guys on Bright Minded. Love you guys so much. Thank you for crafting with me. Thank you for taking the time to hear Rita Orr and what she's working on over in the UK. Make sure you check out her socials um, so you can get more involved, especially if you are also in the UK. Um, she'll be keeping you updated um, about that area. Remember what I said about spring breaking is not important right now. It is much more important to take care of the people that we love. And I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow morning at 1130 a.m. PT. And don't forget to go to MEJ.com and get your scrunchies so you can feed America. Bye, guys.